welcome back guys to my channel dotnet go today we will discuss about the roadmap that how to become a dotnet full stack developer okay we will go going to the next slide please yeah here we go so as you can see we can see four different different figures here one is front end one is back end one is database and another one is cloud now what are those right so those are nothing but uh, you have to understand that as a developer as a full stack developer you have to uh, know how to work in different different uh, section of a particular application to create that application and to deploy that application for your customers right so here are four different different section for that and first of all you can see the front end front end i think you can know by the name only front end it it, it is like it refers to the ui of of an application okay uh, if you are developing an web application then uh, wh whatever you are created uh, which are viewing by your user that that's called the uh, user interface right so that's it for for the uh, front end part now to develop a uh, front end you have to know few languages like html and css are uh, available and apart from that if you want to dedicatedly develop a uh, web application by using a, a dedicated uh, ui framework then nowadays angular and react are available uh, those are actually using javascript so all this we will learn in, in this training program don't worry about it and then we will uh, come that in back in part so this is the back in part so same when you are having a front end of your application so it is quite normal that you will have a back end also where you will uh, write down all of your you know logical part okay all of your uh, service codes and you know uh, data operations code so all those things you will write down in your back end right so in the back end there are few uh, languages are available in dotnet there are basically three languages are available which is c sharp f sharp and vv right so vv actually stands for visual basics right so what happen is nowadays uh, the c sharp language is uh, you know used worsely in almost every other project which project supports dotnet right so we will learn straight away the c sharp and uh, before begin learning the c sharp you know we need to understand what is oops concept because uh, c sharp itself a object oriented programming language so we need to understand what is oops concept and so on right we will find out uh, definitely we will figure out in the later session and then here we will come to the database another uh, session is a database so what is database i i think you guys know what is database who all are don't know what is database in simple word database is nothing but uh, it is used for store the datas okay to manipulate the datas okay it is used to keep safe your data for your application for your users okay in the database you can create the tables and you can store the data okay later on you can get those data by your backend and you can you know displays the, those those data in 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 your uh, front end of your application right so in that purpose we uh, use database database is very important in any any application okay so for understanding the database we will learn uh, sql okay sql uh, uh, when you will learn uh, sql when you will finish learning the sql you you will able to do the database management then you will easily you can store the datas very very cleanly i can say okay next next is the cloud okay now now actually nowadays okay you must have the word called cloud technology right 
so here I have, I have written this cloud is nothing but it is referring that cloud technology only so dot net itself having his own uh, brand in cloud which is called azure okay so we will learn that thing only azure so what happened is azure is uh, having huge things uh, inside itself okay but uh, what we will do we will learn everything slowly but first in this program okay in this training program and later on later parts when we will learn the cloud first we will start with the basic concepts of uh, cloud like why uh, we use why we even use cloud in in any project right in any application project so those we will learn uh, in this program don't worry about it and the next slide is yeah it is bit straightforward like you can see the road map has been written so by following this chart you can find out from where you can start to be a dot net full stack developer you know what i mean like uh, here first of all uh, we will start uh, with dot net framework uh, we will brief about dot net framework like what is dot net framework you know who created that dot net framework so all these things we will we will uh, you know brush up uh, later later on this uh, program means next from next session okay and then we will uh, slowly enter into the oops concept we will understand the oops concept and and uh, you know we will learn the oops concept then we will uh, go to the c sharp we will do multiple multiple of things in this section c sharp it will take a bit time also you know to uh, understand and to learn c sharp and then we will uh, start with asp.net core it is a you know it is a uh, project framework so by this asp.net core you can develop a web application okay by using uh, mvc or web api project template so this two also we will learn after learning uh, about the uh, ASP.NET Core framework. We will learn the MVC and uh, Web API, of course. And then we will uh, go to the front end part and we will learn about Angular. Okay, Angular nowadays is a very very important uh, UI framework. I must say. Uh, so we will learn about the Angular. And then we will learn uh, SQL, SQL, which is uh, nothing but the database. You can, uh, you know, you can uh, create your own database by using the SQL. Okay. And then we will learn the Azure about the cloud concept. That why Azure even uh, we are using in in any in, in project, right? So those things we will learn in Azure first. Then we will learn many other things also in azure because there are multiple multiple things in azure then there are couple of ads on topics also we will cover in this training program like like uh, solid principles and then xamarin xamarin is basically we, we we can develop a mobile application by using this xamarin and then mvvm it is a design pattern so all those things we can cover and then uh, once you cover up to this point i think you will ready for the interview so yeah that's it from the roadmap yeah thank you very much and hope you like this video subscribe my channel if you have any query then comment below and i will surely try to uh, you know reply to that particular uh, comment if you have any so thank you very much